Hi, welcome to our resourceful home. Today I'm going to show you my little trick for redecorating hot switch and outlet covers. It's really cheap, easy. What you'll need to do is remove this from the wall or new one. Measure it. I added an inch and a half each direction to make sure I can wrap around with the fabric. When you're using a printed fabric, if you're particular about what you want to see, because you do have to cut holes, play around with it. Move your fabric across before you decide what to cut. See where your holes are going to lay and work according to that. You'll also need a hot glue gun with glue sticks, scissors, and an X-Acto knife is helpful, but I think you can do it with scissors. I try to pick this up. I can see behind it a little better where my holes are going to be. Make sure I get it lined back up where I wanted it. And the first thing I'm going to do is put one very small dot of hot glue in the center. This will help hold it in place. Only use a tiny bit or you'll have ridges. Now I'm going to flip it over, glue down the corners first. Just a little, is all it takes. Try to go opposite corners to keep it a little tight. You don't want to get your corners all bunched up or the plate won't lay flat against the wall inside. Pull it kind of tight. Have all four sides. Let that get cooled down for a second. Then yeah. find your holes where your switches go. Exacto knife or a small pair of scissors just so you can get through that hole. Get right at the edge of the hole. And I start by cutting an X. Hold your fabric tight. You do this, see if it'll tighten up around that edge to have that done. Small dot of glue. This hot glue releases from this plate easy. So I can change these anytime I want. Now have both holes open and glued down on the back. Now the screw holes. Find them with your finger and open them up. I just put an X through. I do not glue these holes. These screws that go here push the fabric in and hold it in place. I would like to also show you how I do the outlets. Measure it. This one we don't have to be fussy with. I typically don't put any glue on the front of these as long as I can get it lined up properly on the back. Start in the corners. Go down the sides. Flip it over. Cut halfway. And straight through them. And then I go back with my scissors. And it's kind of like a cutting a star or a pie. Make sure you get all the way to the edge of the hole or the fabric will not lay properly. These do not have to be uniform. Here, I usually clip the very tips of those off. I just put a small dot. Make sure you pull it taut around that hole. Put a little X mark where the screw hole is and it's ready to go on the wall. There is the blue one, and these match my kitchen very well. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful day. May God bless you.